yeah, it'd be good to be rich in life, you know. Um, I think that's what, what everyone's aiming for in life, you know, to be financially free. Yeah. Um, yeah. I am anyway, you know. I mean, it, it made me a lot happier, I think. Oh, uh, yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the reality is that uh, when it comes to financial freedom, I think people want to be able to live life on their own terms. And I think that's what it is. Of course, you know, they want to be independent. They want to be independent where they can say that I've got enough money that they don't have to work for anyone or they don't have to be, you know, they don't have to be kind of, a, you know, work for 50 years and then get retired and have a pension and die, kind of, you know, they they kind of escape the matrix, so to speak. Well, basically, you know? when you are... Yeah, when you're financially free, you kind of escape that and you, you, you can do what you want with your time, you know, every day you wake up, you kind of, you can do whatever you want with your time, you know. Um, which is a blessing and not only that, but you've got money where you can do whatever you want as well. You know, you can travel or do whatever you want to do, like anything you want the to do. It gets to a certain point where people have got so much money that whatever they want to do, they can just do. Like tomorrow they could wake up and say, listen, we want to charter, charter a jet from here to wherever. You can go there for two days, three days, you know, have, you know, have a party, you know, you know, you know, and then, you know, charter the jet, come back, you know, people are, you know. There's some people out there that really live like that, like, you know, really, you know. Well, basically, being rich, you can get everyone else to do things for you. Pretty much. Can't you? Yeah. Where, yeah. when you're not rich, you've got to sort of do things for other people. Yeah, of course, yeah. You know, that, I think that's the main difference, really. Mm -hmm. You know, you've got to earn a little bit of money, you know, if you've got none. Yeah. You know, and you've got to spend quite a few hours getting a little bit of money, you know. Yeah. And the money they give you, you know, it doesn't pay anything to sit to. Mm. I mean, the, the, the bills, you know, mm. it's, it's very difficult for people out there, I think, you know. Mm. Um, I think everyone's aiming, really, to, to, you know, that's why people do, you know, a lot of people do the lottery, don't they, do you know what I mean? To, to, in hope to become rich and financially free, you know. In, in life, great if you're rich, isn't it, you know, and you're financially free. And you can put your feet up, and you know, depending on how rich you are, you know, the richer the better, really, isn't it? You know, I mean, you can make a film up. Do you know what I mean? You can sort of say, "All right, I'm gonna make a movie up. Mm. I've got money. Mm. I can do this now." Yeah. You know, you can you can kind of make your dreams come true. You can invest in what you want. Yeah. You know, yeah. but when when you haven't got that money. You can't do that. You yeah, can't make course, a film. Yeah. You know, you yeah. You know, you You're might get the idea yeah. of a film, but you can't do it because you you can't splash the money yeah. to to get the makeup artist and everything. You know, to do do the show. Of course, yeah. You know, mm. yeah. Your choices are limited. Yeah, so I think that's, that's what we are all. You know, most of us. Not, a lot of people are just limited by choice, just to financial restriction. That's a reality, isn't it? Mm. There's some people that would like to be able to go and sit down in a restaurant and eat a nice lunch every day. Mm. But they know they can't afford to do that. That's right. If you see what I mean. Not saying that us, but I'm just saying there's some people out there that would like to do that every day, would like to go a nice place where they, financially they can't. So they do it once or twice a month. Well, I think we all like getting served, don't we? Yeah. You know, like going out for a meal yeah. and having a nice meal and having it all cook for you basically. Of course, yeah, so you yeah. don't have to do no washing up or nothing. Yeah. yeah. You haven't got to do all the dirty stuff, you mm. know. Mm. You pay someone else to do all the dirty stuff, don't you, you know? Yeah. And I think that's what, you know, mm. the world we're living in, isn't yeah. it? You know, some people are rich. Yeah. And quite a lot of other people are poor. Yeah. If you see what I mean. It's 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 a, a very difficult world actually to to be one of those one percent if you sort of mean. Mm. You know? Mm. Um yeah, and I think like even if you are rich, it's very difficult to keep that money. Yeah, if you sort of mean. Mm -hmm. Well, the trouble is, what happens is that sometimes when people get money right, they might get a certain amount of money and buy like invest a lot of money into a house and whatever else, right? But they don't all they don't always think about how much money it's going to take to maintain that house and the land that that house is on and everything else that's required to be done around the house and everything else if you see what I mean. So sometimes 
people buy these houses, if you see what I mean, when they first start getting money. And then after a few years, when the money starts to slow up in some, depending on what kind of you know field you're in, and the money starts to slow up a bit, people struggle to, to afford to pay for the maintenance for the house every year. Right, so I think you can be too, like, what you're talking about there, you can be too ambitious, can't you? Too ambitious, yeah. You know, it's like, mm. I think some people can be too ambitious with their business. Too, they they get, they? people get ahead of themselves sometimes, and I just think people need to be just be a bit more smarter, smarter. When it comes to like financial literacy, you know, like you know, you've got to be, you know, you've got to be on top of your shit. You know, you've got to be focused on, you know. Otherwise, if you, if you're not focused on you on, you know, what I mean, all the moves and the business, all the things that you might have going on, then people could rob you. People could, you know, what I mean, could. That's what know? they do. So you've got to pay attention to what's going on, you know. I think it's best to sort of work really sort of like for yourself mm. in life, yeah? If you, if you can, yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Um, you're independent. Mm. Um, yeah. You haven't got anyone telling you what to do. Yeah. Only yourself. That's it. Mm. You know? Mm. Um, and I think that's the, the thing to achieve really, to, to be self-employed yeah. in life, you know? Mm. It, I don't think it's any good. I mean, it it can be, you know, if you have to do it for a number of years to get somewhere else. Oh, of course, yeah. Someone else. Well, sometimes yeah. sometimes you have to use it as a stepping stone, yeah, don't you? Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. That's it. Um, but I, I think you've just got to be ambitious in life, you know, every moment. Like, mm. well, like I said earlier, um, to enjoy every moment. Possible. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What I will say to people out there is don't be deterred. If you get what I'm saying, don't be deterred. Like, if you're if you're really passionate about something and you take it really seriously and you put in all the time and the effort and all the investment that is required into it. And you haven't seen the results that you have that you want to see yet. Just keep pushing. You know, as long as you're passionate, I'm a big believer that you can manage. I I, I kind of believe that the, the more you do something right, and the more you dedicate time to it, the more you kind of put yourself in alignment with the universe and that kind of frequency. So eventually, over time no matter how long it takes, because everyone's journey is different, you will achieve, you will reap the rewards and you will reap the success of what you're supposed to reap, if you see what I mean, you know. But the more work you put in, the greater chance you have of achieving that. The odds are higher, are higher in your favour for you putting in the work than you doing nothing at all, you know. Or being half-hearted about it, you know, being half-assed about it, you know, being, you know, incons, you know, not, you know, not being consistent, or, you know, so, yeah. You got to be. You got to take charge, take charge of your life, you know. As every, all of us out there, as individuals, as adults, as individuals, you know, we have to take charge of our lives, you know. Um, we all know what we need to do to get to where we want to get in life but not everyone is is willing to kind of like make the sacrifice or invest the time or invest the money or invest whatever it takes to get into where they want to get if you see what I mean um, so yeah that's just the reality of life you know so the ones who are willing the ones who are willing to you know to put, put in all that time all that effort etc you know, usually in the end, they usually re you know reap some kind of rewards, some kind of benefit from their hard work. You know, even if it takes a few years. You know, um, so yeah. I mean, if you achieve something big, like you know, like you've got you, you you know you become a millionaire basically, mm. but it is something bad. Yeah. You know, like you 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 got the money by killing people. Oh, that's all, that's or whatever all. you know, or whatever, that's or all. making. Bombs, you know. God forbid, yeah. I don't think that's it's an achievement, really, or no. You know, 
That's not an achievement. Or anything to be ambitious about. No, 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 no. If, you're, no. Being, you if you're any any time you're doing any time you're doing the wrong things for you know for the wrong reasons, it, it usually doesn't work out well. You know. Yeah. To be honest, in life, I like trying to do the right thing. Like, exactly. You know? yeah. When I wake up tomorrow, mm. it's like when you go. You know, if you're if you haven't got to go anywhere and you've got the day off, and you're going down the road. You've got different choices to make, haven't you? You know, yeah. You've got those shopping to do, right? You're free to go where you want. Mm. And you've got different pathways to make, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. And I like making the right choices all the time. Mm. Mm. All the time I try to make the right choices, you know? Yeah. I, I don't like doing wrong things, do you know what I mean? Mm. You know, I don't really... I don't go around lying to people, that's for sure, yeah. do you know what I mean? Mm. Or... I don't think it's, you know, like another thing that gets in the way, you know, I don't get jealous of people. Yeah, yeah, I'm the same. You know, that I'm gets same. completely yeah. out of the way of ambition, really, when you think about it, you know? Yeah. And so, so does, like, even if you hate something, yeah, that, you know, it destroys, it's destroying, mm -hmm. it's destroying your ambitions. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You know, there's a number of things I've hated in my life, you know? Mm. But it's not really worth picking up about it. No. If you sort of mean, you know, no. I don't really, you know, I've got to give up all my tantrums. Mm. You know what I mean? And live mm. free, yeah. the free life. Mm. You sort of mean. Mm. Um, and you know, like I so I'm not here much longer, really. When I've lived, I've, I feel like I've lived fifty-seven years, and okay, I might live to ninety. I don't really want to live to that old, <laughs> you know, because like. You know, I, I feel like it's going to be difficult for me, you know, by the time that age, you know. Well, you might, I might, be, I might, I might need some help. Well, you, might, you, right. might, well, you might be okay, mate. You know, I might be. Some people it's are, possible, mate. Some people are, mate. There are, just, there are exceptions to the rule, you know. Yeah, but it's possible. But I'm just saying generally, sort of, when you think about it, when you're that age, life is so difficult, you don't really want to be here, you know, much longer anyway, do you know what I mean? I, I, I think, mm -hmm. you know, it, it's... You're tired, do you know what I mean? You do get tired of life, do you know what I mean? I mean, I mean feeling tired, do you know what I mean? At this age, you know, and God knows what it's like at that age, do you know what I mean? Yeah. You know. But anyway, you know, I think, like, you've got to aim to just be happy every day, no matter what age you are. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. Um, And, you know, like, when I'm, if I do reach that old age, you know, 90, whatever, you know, I'm hoping to look back on my life and feel happy about it, mm. if you see what I mean. Mm. You know, that's what I'm aiming at. You know, and you've got to think about that. You know, like when you are 90, what have you got at the end of the day? Yeah. Apart from the memories that you've had, mm. you know, the childhood that you had, the marriage that you had, or, yeah. or the marriages, some people get married three times, you know, whatever, you know, mm. or the children you've had. You know, you, all, all you've got is memories. Yeah. You know, nothing else really. You can't really remember money much, can you? Mm. In a kind of way, you know. Mm. But money does help life, you know, to make it more comfortable. That's for sure, you know. You can buy a comfortable bed. Do you know what I mean? You know, but I feel like even when you're poor, you can buy a nice pillow mm. and sleep a comfortable night, you know. So even a rich person with a nice comfortable um, soft pillow can achieve a good night, sleep, mm. you know, if he's got a nice warm place to sleep, you know, and a nice place to put his head on, yeah. you see what I mean, mm. you know, I think like, you know, we don't really sleep differently, do we, you know, like you think like if a tramp slept outside, and the king was in the castle, and then they wake up in the morning, they've had the same sleep, and they might have had the same sleep, dreams, if mm. you see what I mean, you know, mm. you know, we all are the same. Yeah, yeah. You know, no matter what we're class, all we're all we're living. We're all having the human experience. Yeah, we're, we're all having a, a you know, we're all living at the same moment here too. Yeah, which is like the, the you know like the next hundred years we'll be dead, all of us. Yeah, all of us will be dead. Mm -hmm. Well, most of us, I think. You know, I don't think. Well, I might live to one hundred and fifty, mate. I might live to. <laughs> I might live to one hundred and fifty, so. Yeah, yeah, that's something to aim for, isn't it? You know, yeah. living that age. I think I might live to 150, mate. I mean, I'd love to live that age, as long as I feel good. Mm. You know, feel young. Yeah. You know? Mm. Which, now I'm not feeling so young as I used to do. I mean, I'm not. Mm. 
you know, you're not, I mean, you don't, you know, you, you, you're not running around like you used to, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. 100 miles per hour when, yeah. You're, yeah. when yeah. you were six, you know, yeah, of course, yeah. Yeah. jumping off walls and that, you know, you slow down, do you know what I mean? You slow down mm. as you get older, I think. Yeah, you do. Yeah. You know, but I'm aiming really to get, you know, like, smile when I'm older mm. and feel proud of myself. Yeah. You know, what, what else can you want in life, you know? Mm. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's no good looking back at your life and thinking, oh no, I didn't do nothing. It's yeah. all over now, do you know what I mean? I'm on 90. Mm. And I've done nothing. Yeah. You know, I think that's not. You know, I, feel, I personally feel like I have achieved a lot yeah. so far mm. in my life, you know. Mm. I mean, I've had two families, that's a big achievement, really, you know. I lost and whatever, and I start again, but I. You know, even get my life back on track, that's a big achievement, you know. And now I'm doing a show with you, that's a big achievement, I feel. Mm. Or just an achievement. Oh, definitely. And, you know, I'm doing other things as mm. well, you know, another channel and I'm doing my music, you know, trying to work on that. Yeah. And I feel like I've got, you know, I'm hoping to achieve more in life. That's it. But, like we said earlier, the more you do it, and the more you stay consistent and the more you go out and film every day and do certain things or whatever the case may be in, in terms of trying to make progress in what you want to do then that's what matters you know just being consistent you know um, you know because obviously at the moment too like you said even last time you know you showed me your channel your channel your, your other channel's been growing growing very well um, so obviously so obviously, obviously, so obviously there is an audience there for your content, you know, so you just need to be, you know, just ma maintain that consistency like you have been doing and, um, you know, try and make good videos and I think your, your channel will just continue to grow even more and more. I only started you know? last year, you know, and so, um, I only started last year. And I only started mine a few months ago and it's not a, it's still quite nice way, you know, so, I yeah. must say I'm quite happy as well, you know. Of, um, Link to all our channels. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. In, mm. the, in you can you can look at it on our playlist. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. If you yeah. want to see, yeah, uh, my music. I do a bit of music and I put videos to it. You know, and I'm hoping to get a bit better at it as yeah. I go along. You know, I've only I'm, I'm, I'm so I only, only just started video editing. You know what I mean? Mm. I mean, I've been doing music for a number of years. You know, but I'm one of these musicians. I can't play a piano. Yeah. Right. I can't play a violin or. Uh, a, a little bit I can, you know, like the xylophone's a little bit, but I'm not an instrument man, do you know what I mean? I don't want to learn the trumpet, do you know what I mean? What I do like do, doing is putting drum patterns together on mm. the software, you know, and putting bass drums and snares together, and, you know, it's a bit like a jigsaw puzzle, really. You yeah. Know? And, yeah, I quite enjoy that, and I'm hoping to get better, mm. you know, hoping to improve, hoping to improve with my video editing. Yeah. And same goes with you, you know, you 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 like songwriting. Oh, of course, you know, yeah. you know, I love some of the songs that you've written, do you know mm. what I mean? They're amazing. Yeah. They really are. And I've got loads, loads of songs to come, you know, very, very soon, you know. I released a new single, um, two, um, three, well, no, sorry, three months ago now. Um, yeah, my new single, Always on the Grind, is, you know, on YouTube and all streaming platforms, you know. Um, I'm just a little, quick little plug there, of course. Um, but yeah, you know, you know, I, you know, music is my, is my, I'd say probably my main passion in life, you know, the things that, one of the things, one of the most, you know, things that I enjoy doing the most in life is making music, creating, you know, writing, you know, um, you know, finding instrumentals, you know, and writing my songs and going to the studio and recording them and getting them mixed and mastered and working on them to the point where you're like completely happy and ready to like, Put it out for the world to kind of like consume and hear and take in, you know. Sure, so yeah. it's, it's, it. it's 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 a wonderful thing, you know. You put, I mean, you just one song, one of your tracks, put a lot of energy into it, you know, and a lot of time and a lot of work, really. You know, you sort of like go to a studio quite a few times, you know. By the time someone's actually sort of listened to it for the first time. I don't think they realise how much work. You no, you you it. don't. You people don't realise the realize. amount of what it, what what goes in behind the scenes, unless obviously they've been to a studio and watched kind of like the recording process of like you know people yeah. people making tracks or making their album or whatever. But 
I think the general public generally when they sit down and listen to a track like you said they have no idea what happened behind the scenes they're literally just consuming the track as it is you know mm. um, but yeah but it's, a, it's, a, it's an amazing feeling when you when you release when you're passionate about your art and when you release something and it's kind of like well received and like people look like you feel encouraged you know so that's always a great thing you know um, it's always nice to have a nice it's always good to have it you know that it helps your confidence and everything else where you're you know you feel you know like you've achieved something you know I think it's also a good fun way of passing the time mm. like, I mean I think I've done I, I, I opened up my, my channel on YouTube I think just over a year ago mm. and I think I've got about 70 videos up there now yeah and I think each video takes me on average about three hours yeah or less sometimes if I'm you know but and each track takes me about three hours to make do you know what I mean or sometimes a bit longer yeah depending whatever mm. but I do it I make one I upload it then yeah. I do another one you know sort of I, I start a new one yeah and I keep going like that do you know what I mean and I I just know that I'm getting better yes uh, what you know when I look at it's like I got this site where I put all my artwork okay I don't put any artwork I haven't used it for a number of, I haven't used it for a number of years now okay but I did a bit of digital artwork uploaded it shared it you know on this deviant art then upload another one sort of next day or whatever and I get uploading you know what I mean for a number of years and I noticed my artwork was getting better and better do you know what I mean? And it does. Mm, mm. You know, it's, it's like a child, you know, when they start drawing. Of course, yeah. You know, little, when they're three or four, you know, and they, 